Hi, this is Brandon Smiley from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Med Ball Carry. This is a great carry variation that we can work on your upper back, abdominals. I'm a big fan of putting carries and different loaded carry variations in our programming for our athletes and our clients. And this is definitely one that we use quite a bit. Now, the one thing I'll say about the Med Ball Carry is that it can be botched very easily. Too many people are going to want to try to carry the load through their low back. And what I mean by that is when they have the Med Ball, they're going to attempt to hold it not in a good position, but rather in a position to where they feel like they can get the weight moved. So we're trying to teach good, teach good quality movement patterns as well as being able to build um, some good quality strength or different endurance properties or you know, depending on what you're using this exercise for. Um, but we got to make sure it's coached up correctly um, and, and that we get it done in a good efficient manner that's overall safe for our clients. I like the carries a lot for general population because something that they do quite frequently is carry things, pick things up, and they're worried about getting injured. And the way to prevent getting injured is to learn how to pick things up and move them um, appropriately, and the med ball is great. Um, I don't want to say it's a strongman option because of the way it resembles a stone. Uh, we're not picking it up in that way, but really we just want the loaded carry option. So when we go to carry this, um, whatever kind of med ball you want to use, med ball, slam, down, slam ball, whatever, we pick it up and we hold it. We want to make sure that our hands are out here in front of us. And we're trying to get underneath the ball, not over the top of it, okay? We want a little bit of support, almost like you're going to be down at uh, probably four or five, um, and then between seven and eight, if you look at the handles on the clock. And we also want to make sure that our shoulders are coming around the rib cage, okay? We don't want to keep them hiked up like this when we carry it. We want to come around, get a good reach in, okay? We can get some PRI principles there, get some good reach in. And then we've got the ball where we want. We can also have our rib cage stacked over our pelvis. So then once we go to have to carry the implement, then all we gotta do is just carry it, okay? However, we don't just wanna like try to run because if we start to run, we're probably gonna find ourselves leaning back, right? We're gonna be cheating. We wanna bring this around, just good quality steps, own the movement, and don't let the ball throw us around. Even though this is only 18 pounds and I'm really trying to reach and keep this held, I can tell that I don't you know, have a whole lot of reaching properties um, in my life. I'm very extended. And so this is a very hard position for me just to hold with an 18 pound ball while I'm talking like this. So imagine how a personal training client feels that doesn't ever do this either, but doesn't have any general strength. So then we can just carry this for the you know, distance allotted or the time allotted. So. When it comes to the med ball carry, we just want to make sure that we're not extending through our low back. We're not coming over. We're getting a good reach. We're going to have it out here. And you can tell, I don't want to say my back is flat, but you can tell that I'm just in a good athletic position when I go to carry this. This would be basically a goblet based position. Um, I really don't like carrying it any other way. I think any other way is just going to lend itself to where we're going to be like this or, you know, shouldering it's not bad. But then we could probably just shoulder a sandbag, which I think is more comfortable. It really depends. But when it comes to this, programming distance to me has been the easiest to switch to our facility, but program to your facility first and foremost. One thing I'll keep in mind is that when people are picking this up, make sure you coach them to pick it up correctly too, that we're not going to bend over like this to pick it up. We're going to use our whole body, good quality position. We go to pick it up and then carry. So when we program this, we like anywhere from three to four sets of 25 to 50 yards. I love pairing this as part of the conditioning component that we use as our facility as well. I think it's a great way to keep clients moving, get some upper back and abdominal work, and still get the body working in the phases of gait as well. So if you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.